Welcome to Carries Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you how to cut and how to sew a six pieces padded blouse. I'll be using two different materials in this tutorial. That's the Ankara fabric and the organza material. You can go ahead to use any material of your choice to replace the organza and it can also be the same Ankara fabric. I'll not be showing us the sleeve in this tutorial. You can also make a sleeve of your choice. So all we're needing is the under bust measurements, the half length, the full length, the shoulder measurements, bust circumference, under bust circumference, the waist measurements. Don't forget we upload our cutting and our sewing differently. So if you're watching the cutting tutorial, there's need for you to watch the sewing. And if you're watching the sewing tutorial, there's also need for you to watch the cutting tutorial. And if this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button. Click the bell to, so as to get notifications for our upcoming tutorials as well. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to be doing some calculations today. I'll be working with the bust measurement of 34 inches and the under bust circumference of 28 inches. The length, the full length of my blouse is 22 inches. So the full length is 22. My added one inch, that is 23 inches. So this is my 23 inches. Now, I'm going to subtract 7 inches. I'll be replacing that with a black material. It's an organza material. You can use net and you can just take your full length if you don't want to replace any, any material. That's if you don't want to mix any material with it. So we have the length of 23. By subtract 7 inches. So this is minus 7. With my seam allowance here, I make it 6.5 inches now this is my 6.5 inches okay so i have the half length of 15 inches this is the half length 15 inches to fold my fabric that's where the calculation comes in we need to fold using the highest measurement which is 34 inches now we have the front and back just break it down now to fold the fabric, the bust measurement is 34 inches. Now this is a six pieces blouse, so divided by six, I have my approximation to six. Or you can just do it this way. 34 is the bust measurement, so just make it the front is 17, the back is 17. Now the front is three pieces, the back is three pieces because it is six pieces as a whole. Now divide your 17 by three. You still approximate each to six inches. So this one to, to six inches. So that's where I got the six inches from. Now we need a nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement will determine what you need at the middle. From what I have here, I'm supposed to have six, six, six. Then to the back as well, 666 six, six inches. But the nipple to nipple measurement here with the measurement I'm using is 7 inches. Now, I'm going to consider the 7 inches being the highest measurement. So, and to get my 7 inches, if you fold your fabric into 2, that will be 3.5. So, we need to fold 3.5 inches. Alright, so now... Like I said, 3.5 is what we need to fold. But you discover that the base on a norm, the base of a six pieces blouse is always wider. So the width has to do with your choice. Here I folded six inches. So which means I have 12 inches. I'll be using 12 inches. So I folded six inches. The 3.5 is going to take effect to a half length. So Instead of measuring my 3.5, I added my seam allowance, so I make it 4 inches. So my 4 inches 
all the way to the half length. Then from the half length, I slants to the edge of my folding. So this is a normal length, which is 22 plus seam allowance 23. I subtracted 7 inches to be replaced with a black material. And I added 0 0.5 inch for seam allowance. My half length is 15 inches. From our calculation, which is a bust divided by 6, approximately we have 6 inches. I considered the nipple to nipple measurement, which is 7. So I use that as the highest measurement. So to get 7, I need to measure 3.5. I have my, I had that 0 0.5 inch so as to serve as my same allowance. So I measured 4. So the 4 all the way to the half length, then from the half length, I slant to the edge of my folding. So I'm going to cut this out. So this is one piece. I'll repeat this five more times. But the last one, I'm going to add my zipper allowance. So I'll just continue to place this and I'll cut four of these to make it five. The last one, I'll add my zipper allowance. Alright, so this is the last piece. I already have five pieces. The last piece, I've added my zipper allowance, so I'll just cut. So the last piece now. I'm going to slit so as not to mix it up. Right, I'll just pause. So this is going to be at the middle back. All right, so let's cut the half length now. All right, so I told us I'm going to replace the upper parts with a black material. This is my organza. I subtracted four, seven inches from the length so I'm going to add half inch to join and half inch to join the shoulder. So I'll make it eight inches. Now this is my eight inches. To fold this fabric, I'm still going to consider the bust measurement to fold because it's almost at a 8.5 for arm O. So, and the bust measurement is 34 inches. I'm adding six inches to this just just to be on the safer side so 34 plus 6 is 40 divided by 4 is 10 so i folded 10 inches i folded 10 inches now the shoulder measurement divided by 2 is 7 shoulder 14 divided by 2 is 7 so if i'm to measure my arm o that's 8.5 inches it's going to be somewhere around here. So I'm just going to bring it down in order to take my arm O. I'm going to take that again. We subtracted 7 inches from the length of our Ankara. So I added 1 inch. That is 8 inches. This is the length. To so fold, I folded with a bust measurement plus 6 divided by 4. That's the same thing as bust measurement divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches so i folded 10 inches now the shoulder measurement divided by 2 is 7 inches then since what i have here is 8 and our normal arm o measurement is 8.5 so i assume our measurement starts from here so as to get a correct arm o measurement so i'm going to cut now So, 
this is the front i'll need to place this to cut the back but remember to add the zipper allowance also to the back so i've added my zipper allowance can make it one inch 1.5 inches or two inches that's the zipper allowance so i'm going to cut this out now I'm using an organza. I'm using an organza material. You can decide to use a lace fabric or another color entirely, another material, anything. Just create something. All right. So now I'm going to bring out the neck design from here. Okay. You can always have a neck design of your choice. So. But I'm just going to measure out um, a cano neck this time around. A cano neck. And to do that, I'll be using the width measurement of 5 inches. The front depth of 2.5 inches. And the back depth of 1.5 inches. So, this is the front to cut. As the front and the back this is my 1.5 inches all right so that's the middle the middle of my fabric all right so on the shoulder there's need to slant with one inch so I'm going to measure the one inch and I'll slant the shoulder. Good. Okay, so now to work on the padded parts of our six pieces blouse, we have the left side, we have the middle, and we have the right hand side. Now I'm going to bring this one and I'm going to bring the other side to face this. And the middle piece, this is going to be the middle piece. Now, we have, from our calculation, we have 6.5. The half length is 15 inches. Under bust measurement is 12 inches. So, remember our half inch here. So, I'll make it 12.5 inches. From the under bust measurement to the nipple point is three inches. You can always take your measurements to get this. It varies. So from under bust to the nipple point is three inches. Now, from this is our middle piece. I'm going to measure 3.5 from the middle. 3.5 inches. My 3.5 inches comes all the way to the under bust measurement. And on the upper part, I'm going to measure three inches. So this is my three inches. Now, in case you don't have your curve set, I'm going to bring from the three inches to the nipple points, and from the nipple points to meet with the under bust measurement. All right? So from the under bust straight down, then from the from the half length, I'm going to slant to the edge of my folding. So what I did here, I have the under the half length, the under bust measurement, and the nipple points. I measure 3.5 inches. 3.5 inches and 3 inches. My 3 inches to the nipple point back to the under bust measurement to the half length then i slant it back to the edge of my folding so i can cut now
This is the middle piece, so let's open to see what we have. The middle piece, the right hand, and the left side of our blouse. All right, so this is what we have. I'm going to cut out lining for each piece and also a soft wording. I'll be using a soft wording as well. I'm going to cut out soft wording for each piece as well. So let's move to the next thing. So for the back, I'm going to cut out my lining as well. For it's going to be four linings now. Each for each of it, one, two, three, four. I'm going to cut out lining for each piece as well. And you can cut out any sleeve of your choice. Thanks for watching Carrie's Tutorials. I remain Simeon Grace. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter at O Africa TV. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. Till I see you next class. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment box below. And if this is your first time on this channel, click the subscribe button. Also click on the bell to get notifications for our upcoming tutorials. Till I see you next. Bye.